A lot of times when I do these camera reviews, I always get this question, give me two lenses or give me one lens that I need for my camera setup. Well, I'm gonna do that for you guys right now. Two lenses that can give you focal range from 35 millimeter up to 600 millimeters and out of two lenses. One of them is in my hands right here and the other I was shot with and I'll show you some sample images in just a bit, but here it is, the Tamron. 35 to 150 f2 to 2.8. This lens recently came out for the Nikon Z mount. The 180 to 600, of course, is from Nikon themselves. And I'm going to tell you something. I use both of these lenses and they pair beautifully together. So much so, check out these sample images. As you saw from the sample images there, the images look great. I mean, both of these lenses are standouts and for price and for focal range and for versatility. This 35-150, I tried it when it came out for the Sony uh, E-mount, and this lens has quickly become a de facto lens for event photographers, wedding photographers, people that just want one lens to give you great versatility, f2 to 2.8. That is a fantastic aperture range from 35 to 150, this is the new 70 to 200. I see so many events people using this lens when I'm out hosting events, going to events here in Singapore. I mean, I was in Japan, I saw so many photographers using this lens. This is a fantastic lens. Also another little tool that I have with me that I've showed you once before on the small rig setup for the Fujifilm GFX 102 is this BB2 by Nikkor. This is a tool that comes in handy, especially if you wanna clean your lenses Get some dust on the front element. Turn this on. It's a blower, it's a brush. There you got it. Not bad. You can charge it via USB-C. Very good little tool. This is the BB2 from Nikkor. If you need something like this, check it out. Definitely worth the investment. You know, these small little tools, as I mentioned before, sometimes you don't think much about them, but then when you get them in your hands and you're actually cleaning up your, your camera gear and your lenses, and you're like, actually, this makes things a lot easier, it's worth the investment. Anyway, back to the lenses. Now, it is a heavy lens coming at 1,190 grams, and it does have some length to it, especially when you extend it out, but, but this lens offers so much. Now, in terms of optical quality on this, okay, it is not the sharpest lens out there. Any zoom lens, you're going to sacrifice some sort of sharpness. Usually it's the primes that are gonna be the sharpest out of all the lenses. This lens is sharp enough. And again, you can use all the AI tools you got in Photoshop and Topaz and all that kind of stuff to further enhance the image quality. But for the most part, this is a very, very good lens. I shot with it in low light. I shot with it out when I was testing out this Brompton Explorer version 2 C-Line bike. And I had a great time with this lens. And I've shot this lens with the Sony E-mount as well too. Very, very happy with it. Great bokeh, great separation, nothing to complain about. It's just a heavier lens and it's big. So if you wanna keep your camera kit quite small, this is gonna be a challenging lens. Then you move over to the 180 to 600 from Nikon, right? Very good lens for value, for budget. I mean, it's a fantastic lens. Again, it's not the sharpest lens out there, as you saw from the sample images, but it does a decent job. Again, you're at the higher aperture range, so if you're gonna be shooting this in lower light conditions, you're going to have to step up the ISO a little bit. But again, the tools that we have nowadays, ISO is not a big deal unless you're gonna be pushing over 12,000, then it's kind of hard to correct. But if you're gonna be at 6,400, 8,000 thereabouts, you're gonna be fine with the 180 to 600. And the price point is also very affordable considering what you're getting. These two lenses together might be all you need if you can handle the size and the weight because both of them are quite hefty lenses. Let's talk about the variable aperture on this from 61 millimeters to 80 millimeters, you're at f2.5. And then from 81 millimeters to 150 millimeters, you're at f2.8, which is awesome. Awesome to use. Now, uh, any downsides to it? Well, I mean, again, it's the weight. It's going to be the size. Can you carry these two lenses in your bag? If you can, pick them up. You're going to like them. 
If you can't, then of course that might be something to think about. Then you have the 606.3, if you need 600 millimeters, and that's gonna come in a much more higher price than the 180 to 600, but it is a prime and it is small. I'm actually testing it out right now and it's super, super small. As a matter of fact, here it is. Just to kind of give you a preview of this lens. This is it. That's how tiny it is. You wanna see what it's like next to the Tamron? Look at that. Not bad. 600 millimeter. Is that short? Pretty, pretty impressive. And it's very light. As a matter of fact, you can take off the tripod foot and you don't even need it with this. So that's pretty much it in regards to these two uh, lenses here. I mean, the 35 150, it's the same specs as you're getting from the Sony. So I don't want to go over and repeat the same specs again and again. You can go online and check that out. And the 180 to 600, you've heard a lot of reviewers talk about it. And also you can see the specs online. But in terms of the optical quality, the image quality, both are going to be very solid lenses. Again, they're not going to be the sharpest lenses out there, but I think unless you're pixel peeping at three, four hundred percent, you're not going to really notice the difference, especially when it comes to the price point. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on these two lenses. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. 35 to 150, 180 to 600. What do you think? Love to hear from you guys. And if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. More content coming your way. It's been a lot of Nick on lately, but I'm also going to be doing other cameras as well. So with that, guys, take care, stay safe, and I'll chat to you soon.